Hello and Happy New Year. It's 2021 and I wish you all uh, a great new year and hopefully a year a lot better than 2020. So it's Lee back down in the very, very cold lab now on New Year's Day, the first day of 2021. And I've been doing some shopping. Lots of people on Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else are using these um, little sort of plastic RF sensing meters and going around the homes and outside and taking readings. And I have my doubts about the precision and the accuracy of these devices. So I thought, well, best thing to do is to buy some, uh, test them out, see how well they work or how well they don't work, and maybe even take them to bits and see what's inside. So I bought two of them so far. I've got another few on order, and I've got one coming from a company that hires these things out. Uh, we'll look at them all in turn. We'll test them out in the inner sanctum of the basement, which is an RF proof room, and see what they're like. The first one is here. So let's take it out of the box and see what it's like. So here's the first one. I will uh, put the Amazon listing um, just here now. There it is. So here's the first one. The Amazon listing is right here. It um, came very quickly. I, I was uh, very pleased at uh, the speed at which it was delivered to me. In fact, I think it was actually, it was next day, wasn't it? It was next day delivery. Really, really good. Um, I've taken the plastic off. I want to do this very carefully because it, it's quite possible that if it's actually rubbish, I will just send it back because I don't want some, I don't want crap equipment. But uh, let's have a look. So it comes in a box which appears to be um, quite generic. Oh no, here we are. That's, that's one I bought here. The uh, That's actually a sticker. So yeah, the box is generic for all their devices. And they just put a sticker on. It's uh, the Ten Mars TM195 RF three axle field strength meter, and uh, you can have a look at those on uh, uh, tenmars.com, which we will do in just a moment. Look at the specifications, and they are available from Amazon. Uh, it comes with a nice. Oh, there goes the box. Comes with a uh, nice carry case. It's quite good. And here we are. Fantastic. Got a. Uh, battery and uh, some instructions which I uh, gosh you might even read them um, right well without further ado let's have a look at what it does I'll probably try and keep it in the bag actually just because uh, if I do send it back oh dear have I got a battery I don't want to use that one uh, here we are ah, there we are a uh, finest Kodak Extra Life Poundland Alkaline battery should do a good job be my pocket because it's the same battery that is used my uh, my little wireless mic here that I use for these videos. Uh, okay, got to say it it feels really quite good. It's, it's uh, quite nicely made. It's um it's got some kind of, sort of rubberized outer protection thing on the actual uh, the meter here, the electronics, um, which I had to take off before I take it to bits, of course. Um. Right, well, okay, so I guess we'll have a quick look at this. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Yep, okay, all done. Let's turn it on and see what it makes of my environment here. Okay, so it's currently reading in millivolts. Um, I'll put the camera down a bit because, of course, you want to be able to actually see the uh, display properly. Oh, there's lots of reflections. Not good, not good. Okay, so it's reading currently in millivolts per meter. Uh, I guess you can change the units. Oh, there we are. Uh, oh, so amps per meter. And we've got uh, uh, watts per square meter. I think I'll probably standardise on watts per square meter for the measurements I take with this and the other meter, uh, assuming they do that, uh, just because we want to measure RF power density, and that is the way you do that. Uh, fantastic. OK, so, so currently I am... It's, it's jumping around quite a lot, as you can see. It's, uh, it's a bit concerning. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm using a wireless microphone here, uh, so let's see if that does something. Not very much, really, does it? Um, take it away. I guess no, it is. It's doing it. So yeah, that, that does increase a bit. Um, what else can I measure? My phone. Okay. 
So I put my phone next to it here. What do we get? Oh, that's exciting. Gives up a bit. I'm not quite sure what my phone's doing right now. Maybe if I play a video on my phone, something will happen. Um, I'll play graph algorithms on YouTube. Oh, no, even better. Uncle Roger, because we love Uncle Roger. Uh, da, da, da. Find a good one. Uncle Roger is upset with Gordon Ramsay. If you manage a team, you have to try Monday.com. Monday.com is a platform to try. Yeah, not much happening there, really. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We don't mind. Um, so that is one of them. That's the 10 Mars uh, meter here. And the other one I got is... Well, I'm actually quite excited about because this looks quite uh, an interesting device here. It is a uh, uh, GQ Electronics GQ EMF EMF 390 meter. Again, this is a, uh, a delight from Amazon. What's interesting about this one is it claims it goes up to 10G. Now, presumably that means 10 gigahertz. Um, I find that slightly difficult to believe uh, because that is quite tricky. And uh, considering it costs about £115, I think, um, I would say that would be uh, very impressive if it uh, went anywhere near that. So you get to, you don't get a, a recharge cable with this one because it's just a PP3 9 volt battery. You get a USB charger cable with this, so presumably it has some kind of rechargeable battery in. Um, or maybe that is for linking to a, a computer, because I know you can link it to a computer. Here we are. Right. So this one claims to have that really wide coverage and also to be a bit of a spectrum analyzer and according to the gumph on Amazon to be able to tell you what it thinks it's receiving, what the strongest signal is supposed to be. And there's all sorts of pretty graphs here in the uh, little manual. So let's see what happens if we turn it on. Now one thing I want to test is if you have two of these meters in the same vicinity, and I'll buy some more meters, so we have maybe four or five of them at, at some point, I want to find out, do we all give the same reading? Because that'll be a telltale sign that something isn't quite right if you have a few meters and they all give different readings. Uh, a bit like this compass here. I, I purchased some of these compasses here. In fact, I purchased about 20 of them uh, off eBay uh, <laughs> because it seemed like a good idea at the time. And I gave them to my cubs, uh, my cub scouts in my group, uh, with the idea of a do a bit of orienteering, and um, they came and queried and said, um, this this compass isn't pointing north, Arkela, uh, because they know where the sunrise and sunset isn't, but they compared it to the sunrise and sunset, and indeed, every single compass pointed in a different direction, uh, which tells you that actually they're useless. If all these meters give different readings in the same environment, that is possibly a little hint that they aren't particularly useful. And what do we have here? So this one's jumping around everywhere. It's, I'm sure, can we, can we do some kind of averaging on here? Max, average, okay, not much. So this is 20, 20 30, 30 milliwatts per meter squared. And this is 1.1 milliwatts per meter squared. Um, yeah, that's not looking good, is it? Maybe, yeah, uh, turn it around, one, nope, nope, maybe if I put the, uh, the wireless mic near it, a little bit more there, that's good. Yeah, so already we have a bit of an issue, is that we have two metres here giving, I mean, they're, they're literally right next to each other on the desk, giving completely different readings. Um, that is, uh, that's a bit concerning. This oh, it says it believes there's a Wi-Fi or phone here somewhere. What, what if I if I move that close to it? What, what do I get? Mixed. Oh, it's flashing. I don't know what that means. Uh, if I move my phone here, oh, cell tower mixed mixed. Uh, got my phone right next to it here. I play a some YouTube. Oh, that's quite good. That's got a bit of a peek there. Totally I like that it tells you if it's a Wi-Fi or a phone. That gives you an idea that it, it is actually doing some spectrum analysis there and working out maybe what the strongest signal is. But uh, that's interesting. Um, 
The manual, I mean, the manual, both of these are quite small. Uh, they don't seem to tell you much. I guess they're quite easy to use. Uh, power on the unit, check battery level, set backlight. Um, oh, battery is easy. We'll look at the battery in a minute as well. Uh, but uh, multi-function tests, uh, function keys, etc, <coughs> etc. Et oh, to get accurate, to get as accurate of a reading as possible, always point the top of the meter there. Uh, towards the source. You can hold the meter at the lower part or just simply place the meter near the target source. Okay, fair enough. So that is slightly directional. This is probably omnidirectional. Um, but still, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit concerning, isn't it? Um, no, X, Y, Z. Oh, so you can change, it seems, the axis you're reading from. So if I change this to read from a single axis, uh, what do we get? Oh, that's interesting. So now... 500, it's, well, it's a bit closer than it was. So 619, 640 odd microwatts. Uh, no, we, no, it's not doing too well there, is it? Let's try another access. Why? <clears throat> Gosh, no, that's not looking good. Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, how will we compare these meters when they're already giving completely different readings? Uh, that will be fun. Excuse me, I'll have a quick sip of tea. Um, anyway, so that is the two meters. We've got the uh, the 10 Mars TM195 here, and we've got the uh, the GQ Electronics, uh, what is it, the EMF390 here. And uh, yeah, I will uh, take these one by one now, uh, go outside and take some readings and, and video of that, of course. Uh, we'll see how they perform outside and what kind of things they pick up. There are some 5G microcells on the lampposts uh, that are around here. As far as I know, they're not actually in use at all. They're turned off, waiting for somebody to presumably buy use on them. But uh, hopefully these devices will be able to tell us whether or not they're being used and give us an idea of what our ambient RF readings are like. Uh, what I'll do, when I actually test these down in the basement, uh, I will compare them to an RTL SDR, this device here. Uh, these are about £25 or so. They plug into a smartphone uh, or a PC and they are basically a spectrum analyzer in a, a little case. There is some smartphone software which I will also show in the process of one of these uh, videos in this series. And I will test it against my homemade Lego powered meter here, which I'll just plug in because it's a uh, it's quite exciting and interesting to see what readings it gives. I mean, the Lego meter is, is completely uncalibrated right now, uh, so it'll be wrong, whatever it says. Uh, but let's turn it on and you can see what the display says. Here we are. Now, but that is giving readings in dBm because that was a, a good unit to use. If I move the microphone near that, we should get something. There we are. And that goes up quite nicely. And if I move the microphone away from it, the graph should go back down. And it does. So that at least works as well. So yeah, I'll be doing a, a bit of a, a bake-off between um, my meter here. This cost about, well, I think the um, the screen and the, the Arduino CPU was about sort of £15. That was a fiver. So say £25 to make this. Um, this is £25, needs a smartphone, any old smartphone will do. Uh, that's about £115. That is about £110 or so. And I'm going to get a couple more meters. Maybe uh, I'd like to get the Acousticom 2 meter, but that is, is extortionately expensive. And I saw a an advert on Facebook for a meter which costs about £50, uh, which, if it's any good, would be an absolute bargain. But I will ask the, uh, uh, the people who sell those if they'd send me one, and I can show you how it works on this channel here. So there we are. We have... Uh, Two commercial meters, one bodged homemade one, and uh, an RTL SDR, which should be a spectrum analyzer. And uh, we will see how they all perform.